Right, today we're going to talk about routing with Express. So I've built a very basic starter file here. We've got our Express object imported. So we're running that to create our application. I've got a default port set up as 4444. We've got our basic route for just the root of our API or web server, whatever it is that we're building. And we're listening on that port. So that's about as minimal as we can get. Um, what I want to talk about is all the different ways that we can do routing and how we can make our routing a little bit better organized so when our application grows, when we start doing things like talking to a database or dealing with a whole bunch of different middleware that it's going to be easier to manage because we're going to have different folders and files for different purposes. So let's get started. Inside of here we've got the basic route and when a request for the method get, you're using the method get comes in for this endpoint this is the function that's going to handle it. Now if I were to create other endpoints, let's say that things slash cars was a possible endpoint and we're going to have our request and our response object. Okay, our function is, or our code is still pretty simple. What if we're also doing a post to that endpoint? So things slash cars and again, we'll add our function that's going to handle that. Res, still not a big deal. But now I realize, okay, well, what if somebody's passing in an ID here and I want to do a put or a delete? So now I've got another one. We'll say app.get for slash things slash cars slash car ID. Our request and response objects. There's our function. Now our put, and there could be also a delete. We'll just leave it at put because this is getting to be a lot of you watching me type, and that's always a lot of fun, I know, but we're going to try and keep that a little bit shorter. So we have these different functions that we can work with. Great. But as you can see, very quickly, this becomes a lot of code to kind of keep track of and, keep, and manage. So we want to simplify this process. One thing that we can do is whenever we have routes that are the same, we can combine the two of these things and say, you know what? I'm going to use the route method. I'm going to take this string and put it inside of here. And now I can chain these things together like this. So app.route for this route, we're going to do get and we're going to do post. Here's my two functions. Great. That's a little bit more organized. Same thing down here. We'll say, let's do a route. We'll take our route here, paste it in, remove it from here, remove it from here, get rid of this extra app, get rid of the semicolon there. There we go. So we've simplified a little bit. We've organized our code a little bit better by using the route method that's available on the app object. But we can still simplify this even further by using the router object that exists in Express. Now, just before I get into doing that, one side note is with these routes that we're creating, with these endpoints that we're defining, I've just been hard coding strings and I've been using the params, rec.params car ID would be one, but we can also use regular expressions within these strings. So if you insert a question mark, that means zero or more of the character that comes before it. So we can write this ABCD with or without the B. So either of these two endpoints would match. With AB plus CD, it's one or more. So any number of Bs can be used. With an asterisk, that's like saying, I've got a wildcard character. I can put anything I want, as long as it starts with AB and ends with CD. Or we can even just use the regular expression syntax. So here's something that ends with man. So it has to end with M-A-N. Um, we can put anything we want ahead, <clears throat> pardon me, ahead of that. But this is the ending character. Or if you want the beginning character, it is in regular expressions, that means starts with. Okay, so that's just a side note 
for what you can do inside these routes instead of just hard coding a full path. Now, routes, the route object. I want to organize my code. I'm going to take everything that has to do with things and I'm going to put that into its own file. So we're going to come in here and create a folder called routes. This is where I'm going to put all my different routing things. So my routes for things is going to go in one file. My routes for animals will go in another one. And just I'll break up my URL into some way that makes sense to me. But things is where we're going to start. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say const things equals require. And you have to spell require, right? <laughs> there we go. Require and inside of the folder routes, there is a things.js file. That's the one that I'm getting in. And I'm going to say I'm going to app.use. So I'm going to treat it like middleware. And I'll say anything that begins with things. Let's go to that things file. So use the things.js file to handle endpoints. There we go. So now let's take all of this code and we're going to move it into that other file. So let's open up the other file. I started it off. This is the new import right here. So we have to bring in express because we're going to use that. That's where the router object is. But I'm going to bring in express router and put it into a variable called router. And that is what I'm going to export. This is what we're calling things right here. That's my router object. If I mouse over that, you can see const things router. So it is, it does recognize that it is a router object. Okay, now let's take all of this code that has to do with things. So forget the get for the root one. We're going to leave that here. But all these other bits, I'm going to remove those from our file. There we go. So we're back to saying anything that starts with things, use this file. But route for the root, that's going to stay here. Okay, now back into here. Now I'm no longer dealing with an app object. What I'm dealing with is sort of a, a mini application. It's this router thing. There we go. Router. And for router, we want to say not quite this. Things, if you remember back in here, this was the base. This was the root. So anything starting with this, we're using this file. And that means inside of things, we don't need this part because that is now considered the beginning part of any path that we deal with here, with any endpoint that we're dealing with. So this is actually dealing with slash things slash cars. So let's do a res.send hi get slash things slash cars. This one is going to be a high post things cars. Down here, we're getting the car ID. So res send plus rec dot params dot car ID. That's on the end of there. This is a put things cars plus that car ID. Okay, so those are our routes that we've defined. We stripped off that first part because that's what we told the router it was going to be dealing with. We're using the router object instead of the app object here. The router object now has all of its things defined, all of its endpoints defined. That's what we're exporting is this router object that we created. So back over here, here's that router object, and we're going to be using that. Middleware. Well, we used middleware back in the original file, the app.use. We defined this. We could have put other middleware inside of here. Let's say if we knew that we were going to be dealing with um, JSON for everything, we could say I'm going to use the express.json 
method to handle all incoming requests looking to see if there's JSON and converting them into actual objects. We can have that there, great. I'm not doing that right now, but this is another example of middleware that we could put inside of there. Back in here, if we wanted to create middleware, we can do it as well, but we're not putting it on the app object, we're putting it on the router object, the one that we've just created here. So router.use, just like that. And we could make up our own function if we wanted with the request, response, the next object, just like all middleware gets. At the end of all middleware, we got to make sure we call next. Maybe inside of here, we'll say whatever the rec.url is, plus we're going to write out at, and then a timestamp, we'll say. There we go. So every request that comes in that goes through this router, this middleware only applies to requests that are handled by this file not ones that are handled by app.js. So back in here, the ones that are handled by this middleware, will get that middleware writing out the timestamp. This one will not. And we can test this out. If we want to open this up and start up our server, there we go, listening on 4444. And I will use curl to make a request for the root of our web server, local host, there we go, 4444, asking for the root. Okay, nothing's happening here because we didn't actually do anything right here. We've got to put a send. So we'll save that, kill this, and start it up again. Run the request again. Hello root. There we go. And we're not seeing the middleware that wrote out the timestamp. But if I make a request for one of the ones dealing with things, so localhost colon 4444 slash things slash car. Now I'm going to deal with the get that's inside of there. Hi, get things cars. And over here, slash cars at there's the timestamp. And if we do one that has a number inside there, there we go, there's the number, and there's the route with that middleware being used. All right, so I hope that helps you out. Um, I will leave a copy of the finished app.js and a finished copy of the things.js uh, in that code gist that I'm linking to down in the description, as well as a link to the rest of the Express playlist that I've got so far. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, Thanks for watching.